But if curses and jinx exist, that would be this board with me. I really lucked out with my first two boards. They are amazing. I think I started off with like the Backfire G2 and then went straight to the G3. And I've gotten three, four, five of my friends to buy boards, multiple boards, just because I've got my first one. This is by far the worst board that I have ever ridden. And I don't really want to say it's all Backfire's fault. Like I think in the future, I'm never going to buy a first generation board again. It just doesn't really make sense, especially when they're all racing to come out with a model like this. Like, oh, you know, we want an Evolve clone, so make our version of an Evolve clone. You know, all of them rushed out with like lower batteries. This one, the Hammer, they didn't even sell it anymore. They have the Hammer Sledge, but this board has been just a nightmare. And I'm just so pissed off that I lost my Lycon TRX 2.0. I can't buy it again. It was by far the best board I've ever ridden. I don't think I'm ever gonna buy one of these Evolve clones that is a belt drive, normal tires. I hate normal tires. I, I have no idea why anybody ever rides in them. If I go on a long ride and it's at night, the one time I, my tires are flat. And when I've had normal rubber wheels or even cloud wheels for so long, it's just like, man, the board just always worked. You know, that's why that's why I liked about the G2 and the G3 was that they had they just were so well rounded, you know, Not enough speed, enough battery. Like you didn't really feel gypped in any area. Like initially I was extremely disappointed with the battery in this, especially because the hurricane like went on sale like a month later, which has almost like one and a half times this battery. And so that was the first thing I was let down with. So it doesn't have that much range. And then so like the, there's these to get a, a adjust on um, the belt tension. So like when you put a new wheel on, you make it so it's like just the right amount of tension. Well, we were trying to unscrew those. Uh, we got all of them but one and it wouldn't come off. So we bought like some sort of stripper kit, some sort of something to just basically like destroy the screw in there, but take it out. So we bought that and it didn't work. And we bought another one and it didn't work. So basically the screw is stuck in there and I can't adjust the belt tension whatsoever, which is okay because the belt tension was okay for all terrain wheels, which is what I have, and which I could still buy. Um, hub motors were supposed to have so, like people would always make them seem just terrible, like they're just inferior. It's like, you know, you want, what you want is too good to be true, to build the motor inside the wheel. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and I guess I got into boards at the right time because the Backfire G2 was like great and, and the G3 was even better. They had just no problem with power whatsoever. They had no problem with braking. Like, I don't really know what hub motors are supposed to be bad in, but the G3 had no issue at all so it was kind of stupid for me to add all these extra issues on like you know belts and then tires those are basically things that are going to get destroyed much faster than my other boards for no reason like, i was going to switch to cloud wheels but i can't adjust the belt tension so, so i'm not going to switch to cloud wheels and i'm just going to kind of ride this backfire hammer out and i have a good old flat tire in one of these i don't know how to change the inner tube but when i do i am never riding in the dark ever because I waited for my friend to fix it. We fixed it. He's like, oh, you want, I'm going to go home. You want to just like ride with me halfway home? Sure. It was in the dark. Boom. Next day. And I'm just like, oh, man, this is ridiculous. I never, you never have to worry about this with cloud wheels. You just like, why, why would anybody want to deal with this? Like, hey, if a really good belt drive board came on sale or it was like the only option, okay, I get it. Um, and I'm sure there's much better models than this, but this has just been an abysmal experience. Oh, and then this board has just like the worst, like, I don't know what's this, what it's called, like voltage jump or like when you're, when you just charge it and you like, like inch the remote up and it just. So he almost wants to send you flying. You look like a dumbass who doesn't know how to ride. This board does this way more than any other board I've ever been on. And no matter how much of a good rider you are, you can't avoid looking stupid because you're telling it to do something and it's deciding to do something else. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's really, it's unfortunate because it makes me look like a dumbass more than I should. And like nobody would understand unless you're an e-skate rider. Honestly, I don't want to talk too badly about it. I'm really grateful that I can ride it right now. I want to get a better board. So companies, if you want to send me other boards, send me your TRX to send me at like half off something because I'm suffering over here. I mean, yesterday, so like this, this little metal thing was like banging as I was driving, like going and like, I felt like I was more annoying than cool. I didn't even want, I just didn't even want to be riding it. So it was just like, this, this board's just not for me. I need to get something that's just easier to use. I think their main problem is probably the vulture sag, like and battery. And that's probably the main two things. And then I personally don't like, um, you know, the belt drives and all that, but Anyways, I don't even know how many freaking miles I have on this thing because like I just I like it's broken I've like pushed like hell to get it going and then it breaks like I mean within within like a week or two uh, 
340, 340 miles. So that's not, that's nothing. You guys, if you're an East Canada, that's not, that's like ridiculous. That's like laughable. I mean, I'm going to use it like a, like an MF for right now. I'll tell you that much. Cause like I can get up here on one charge. So I'm, I'm going to be using it quite a bit. Kind of got my eyes open for Black Friday because those are typically the best sales. But I'll be very interested to see what you guys think. What board should I get? What board are you riding? Anyways, you're the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, I'm having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.